Hello, my name is Kushal and uh, today I will explain how you can use various arithmetic operators in SQL Server. I have also written an article on this topic and also I will be using this article as a reference. So you can also use this code that I have written in this article. I will leave the link for this article in the description box. So let us start with the arithmetic operators in SQL Server. In SQL Server, these are some following operators which are supported. So these are addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and modulo. The first operator is the add operator which finds the sum of two numbers. So for this example, I have created a stored procedure that will take two numbers as input and return the sum of these two numbers. I have already created this stored procedure, so I will not create it again. I will just uh, execute it. So you can see that uh, I got the sum of these two numbers that is 34 plus 45 equal to 79. Now let us see how you can use this addition operator in a SQL Server table. So for this tutorial I have created a sample table for uh, operands that will contain two columns that is the first one is the first number and uh, another one is second number. So on these two operands I will perform various arithmetic operations and uh, these are the sample values that I have these are the sample values that I have inserted in this table. So first of all let me just show you how you can display the sum of two column values. So this is the SQL query that will uh, find the sum of two numbers that is these two column values and uh, store the result in another column. So let me just uh, copy it and uh, execute it here. And you can see that we got the result of uh, every column values that is 45 plus 65 equal to 110. So this sum column contains the sum of these two column values. So now let us move to our another operator which is the subtraction operator. Similarly I have created uh, another stored procedure that will take two numbers as the input and return the result that is the difference of these two numbers. So let me just uh, execute it. And you can see that we got the difference of these two numbers that is 792 minus 689 equal to 103. Now let me show you how you can do this in a SQL Server table. So this is the same SQL query that I have used in the above example. But this time I have used the subtraction operator here. So let me just uh, execute it. And uh, you can see that uh, this time we got the difference of these two column values in this third column value. Now let us move to another operator which is the multiplication operator. So similarly I have created a store procedure that will take two numbers and uh, return the multiplication. So let me just uh, execute it with the two sample values. So you can see that I got the product of these two numbers that is 25 into 10 equal to 250. Now let us use this multiplication operator in the SQL Server table that I have created. So let me just uh, execute it. So you can see that this time we got the product of these two column values in this third column. Now let us move to our another operator which is the division operator. So this is the symbol that we use to divide two numbers. So this is the store procedure that will uh, take two numbers and return the division of these two numbers. So let me just execute this store procedure. So you can see that we got the result that is 60 divided by 3 equal to 20. So let us see how to use this division operator inside a SQL Server table. So this is the same SQL query. So let us execute it. So you can see that we got the question value after the division operation on these two column values. Now let us move to the last arithmetic operator which is the modulo operator. So this operator returns the reminder after the division operation on two numbers. This operator returns an integer as a reminder. So this is the stored procedure where I have uh, used this uh, module operator. So let me just uh, execute it.
so you can see that uh, i got the modulus that is the remainder of the division operation performed on these two numbers that is 35 divided by 60 which leaves the remainder as 5 now let us see how you can use this operator in a sql server table so let me just execute this sql query so you can see that uh, we got the modulus of the division operation performed on these two column values so in this way you can use the various arithmetic operators in your stored procedures as well as your tables in SQL Server. So that was all about the arithmetic operators. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to see more free videos on these following topics. Thank you for watching this video.